calls and a lot of energy to my doom to Ron Rogers. <laughs> Take the train. 
Yo, I appreciate that. Everybody have a good time? Yeah, that's what's up. I bet y'all didn't think y'all was going to do that, did you? I'm going to try to get $3 back for everybody for participating. Now, yo, again, my name is Saron Rogers. I drove up from Raleigh, North Carolina just to be here. So I want to salute Tito, DJ06, the Mega House of Charlotte. Yo, it's a pleasure to be here. Woo! I'm old. Right, but look, I'm not going to be up here too long because my girlfriend was supposed to have came with me. But she was taking too long in the bathroom. So I knocked on the door. I'm like, yo, babe, I'll be right back. <laughs> that is not going to be good. So I got to have all the fun I can tonight, yo. <laughs> yo. But um, with this, I've been in this comedy thing. I've been doing this for about a year. Touring has been great. North Carolina is my home, so it's great to be back. So if you would, give me a round of applause and just give it up for the, if you've heard of these tours or the comedians that I'm about to mention. The Kevin Hart Irresponsible Tour. <laughs> the Martin Lawrence Lit As Fuck Tour. Yeah. And the last one, the Mike Epps Crazy As Shit Tour. Yeah. That's what's up. I wasn't on any of those tours. <laughs> Right now, this is my biggest show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I salute you, Tito. I think you're my father, too. We'll, we'll talk about that after the show. Because you know, don't only have a daughter. I think I'm up there. So let's see. I um, celebrated my 44th birthday. Back in May. It was in May. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> I'm still here. And the thing about 44, 44 is that age where you, you're kind of young but you're old too. It just kind of depends on what you got going on in your life. Because right. I have people, people like your home, you know, like you're on 44. Like, Damn, nigga, you're old. <laughs> but if I was to die, he died so young. <laughs> you know, so much like that. Um, we're too soon. Too soon. Way too soon. And being 44, like, I understand, like, the grumpy old man syndrome, because I'm starting to become that dude. So, I know everybody got smartphones, so everybody be texting, right? Yeah. So, check it. Have you ever texted somebody in your vernacular the way that you wanted to do your own swag, but autocorrect? Right. the way that you want to say that? So, how many people hate autocorrect? Absolutely. We hate it though until we come across a word we can't spell. <laughs> that happened to me the other day. I'm texting my girlfriend. Well, babe, sometimes you gotta do what's necessary. Oh, necessary. <laughs> two C's and two S's. <laughs> right, well, babe, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Two M's. We'll talk about it the day after two M's. Alright, or Wednesday. Fuck! You know what? Delete all. Call on me. Sick. So, it is crazy. It is crazy, but it's a reality. And also, about, um, I would say it's probably about 20 years ago. I started using straws. <laughs> Some of y'all ahead of me. <laughs> but um, but my, this is my thing, and not to be disrespectful, but it's a comedy show. If you wrap your hand around a straw, and you put it to your mouth, and you suck on it till something comes in your mouth, and you swallow it, <laughs> kind of like sucking up here. So I know there are some guys that's probably saying, ah, that's crazy. I don't even put my hand on my straw. I mean, you're good at sucking the dick. <laughs> so. Well, to each his own, to each his own. It's, um, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's your thing. Go. So, so if y'all 
y'all are bringing these straws tonight. Just, tonight is good. Tomorrow, <laughs> no more straws. No more straws. Let's see. Um, Thanksgiving. Give me a spoon and a fork because I love to eat, and I think every man here can attest to that. And, and please help me out because they say a way to a man's heart is through his dick. Y'all still on that stomach shit? No, 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 no. So fellas, what would you rather have? A woman that will cook your dinner the way that you want it, but she's going to talk you to death about work until you fall asleep. Or would you want that girl in the street that will put your favorite hot pocket in the microwave, suck your dick from the back, and fuck you till you pass out? So yeah, but keep cooking, cause we ain't got anything to go on the street. <laughs> so I gotta work. Um, working out, this is not working out. I know y'all saw me suck it in when I was doing Tupac. Yeah, I know, I know. That's when I almost passed out. But um, I tried working out, but it wasn't good. When summer came, I was trying to get that summer body way past that. So right now, you are looking at my before and after body <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> But with it though, and this is what I've come up with, and this is how it makes sense to me. I have a beautiful, beautiful girlfriend, and she works out all the time. So I'm like, yo, babe, keep going to the gym, because the sexier you get, the more mysterious I get. Because when we're out, people are looking at us as a couple like, how the fuck did he get her? <laughs> he must got a lot of money, and I do not. <laughs> I do not. But I did save a lot of money on my car insurance. <laughs> right. Some of y'all think I switched to Geico. I just stopped paying the insurance. <laughs> the car still worked. <laughs> yeah. I had to get the start. <laughs> Let's see, what else is going on? Um, the, the, the black woman to me is the most powerful entity on this earth. So I definitely give it up. <laughs> Fellas, I know we are zero against affinity against winning an argument against a black woman. I almost won. I almost won. It was what my ex-girlfriend was going through this argument. I felt I hit it with my best shit. I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> you had two kids and I knew that coming into this relationship. But it didn't matter. I was going to be that father's figure that they needed because that dad is not doing anything. I knew this about them. When I knew that I wanted to be with you, I gave you all of my passwords because I wanted you to see the transparency that I was going to be in for you and only you. You know what? But it's always easy for a motherfucker to just walk away. You know what? And then I went to the bathroom because I'm in the bathroom now like, I hear hell with my best shit. I'm in the mirror. I hear hell with my best shit. Yeah, you won. You won. You won. You won. So then I hear that little knock at the door. It wasn't that, that mean knock, so I'm thinking like I'm still winning. That little knock. So I gotta stop smiling and get myself together like something still less happy. Open the door. Yeah. Out of everything that I told her, all she heard was, oh, so now I'm a motherfucker. <laughs> and also what I learned that day, fellas, women see this like sports centers stock ticker in the air words. So when you see a woman doing this, okay, come use that shit on them. Use that one. Use that one. Yeah. That one. That one. Oh, two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Their words are there, but they're like bullets to us. So all they doing is loading a clip. So after she finished that, all I heard was. So I apologize, <laughs> and we've been on. So we all was one one, fellas. So we're still zero for infinity against winning an argument against a people. <laughs> and I see men and women, I love it, like the differences between men and women, like things that women can do that men can't do. So say like if you was trying to look your girlfriend up with somebody, a woman could be like, yeah, my girl looks good. You know, she's beautiful, smart, intelligent, she's sexy, beautiful skin, nice breasts, flat stomach, cute butt. Powerful legs, she look good when she walking in the hills. That's all acceptable from a woman complimenting another woman. Yeah. Fellas, 
<laughs> we got three things we can say about our homeboy. And they're probably going to start with shit. So ladies, don't keep digging. So if a lady's trying to have her girl hooked up with one of her, your homeboys, and they're like, how does he look? How does he look? <laughs> shit, he cool. <laughs> Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself. 